Hello, everybody. I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Vic Carter. That means the list of businesses that are allowed to open is now longer than the list that must remain closed. Things like nail salons, retail stores, banks, and offices. But indoor dining at restaurants is not a part of phase two. Of course, they will reopen with new safety precautions taken or put in place. The governor says we're able to make this step because hospitalizations and the positivity rate continue to decline. WJC investigator Mike Helgren with details of this big announcement. Vic and Denise, the positivity rate, that's the percentage of people testing positive, is at its lowest since late March. Hospitalizations are at their lowest since April 14th. Retail and other businesses can now reopen, but local jurisdictions still have the power to decide if they want to move more slowly. But before we get to all that, I want to talk about some of the powerful words that Governor Hogan had to say about the killing of George Floyd and the protests in Baltimore. This was completely inexcusable. This was not a just a bad cop or bad policing. This Maryland's governor condemned the killing of George Floyd in Minneapolis police custody in the strongest terms possible. This was a murderer in a police uniform. No justice, no peace. And Hogan praised the largely peaceful protests in Baltimore. When you saw the community leaders leading the peaceful protests, telling people it, it's time to go home and telling the bad folks, don't do that. Don't break down those barricades. Don't throw those rocks. We're one of the only cities in America that didn't have lots of violence, looting, and burning. The other major development, Maryland can now move into stage two of recovery, which includes the opening of non-essential businesses. The list of Maryland businesses that are open is now much, much longer uh, than the list of those few which will have to remain closed a little while longer. Nail salons, massage, and tanning salons are among those operations that can now open by appointment only with 50% capacity. For all businesses, face cov coverings are, uh, are encouraged whenever face-to-face -face interaction takes place. Businesses are encouraged to implement a screening process, including temperature checks for personnel uh, based on CDC and health department guidance. State agencies are also moving to more normal operations on Monday, but Governor Hogan urged caution. Hogan urged those who protested close together in large numbers to get tested for COVID-19. No justice, no peace. A lot of young people that are out there in that crowd, uh, to just be careful, I wouldn't be hugging grandma uh, until you get that test. <laughs> And the governor also defended his decision to allow some members of the Maryland National Guard to help with the demonstrations in Washington, D.C. And he said that Maryland, that federal labs that were supposed to be allowed to process those coronavirus tests, that was by order of the White House, still haven't been made available to the state of Maryland. Reporting live, Mike Helgren, WJZ.